Hello there, thanks for coming by to watch my video. So I'm doing this video for all of you, for all of us collectively that feel so busy that we have no time to do the things that we know we really wanna do, practice the real self-care that we know is really gonna help us feel better in our day and have less anxiety. We want to do these things, but life is so demanding, especially now. Well, I'm gonna share with you five times throughout your day that you can milk. You can milk these times and really have a practice that if you do this consistently during these times of the day that are already there, you're not going out of your way, you're not doing anything new. If you have that consistent practice, I can guarantee because I've done it myself and I've come from a lot of emotional sort of just upheaval, especially like the past couple of years, you know? So if I can do this, you can do this, trust me. Okay, so I'm gonna mention five times throughout your day that I want you to milk that you can start to have that self-care practice that you really want. Are you ready? You wanna go grab a pen or a paper? You can pause this video. Okay, so the first time throughout the day is going to happen before you even get out of bed, before you even open your eyes. It's gonna happen when you're still in that alpha state. You are just waking up, your eyes are still closed. I want you to milk that time. I don't want you darting out of bed. I don't want you to open your eyes really fast. Instead, I want you to stay right there with those eyes closed and I want you to start repeating some affirming thoughts to yourself. And these affirming thoughts are gonna come from you maybe jotting some down the night before, like having some affirmations. And I'm gonna leave um, below, you're gonna click on some of the freebies that I have for you below to help you come up with some of these affirmations. So I want Want you to repeat those when your eyes are still closed and you're just waking up and you're in that very ripe vulnerable state of mind where you can really tap into your subconscious because your subconscious is what is leading you your conscious thoughts like you can tell yourself I'm beautiful I'm great but it's your subconscious that is is the leading force that is going to determine your behavior and your actions, okay? So in this alpha state, you can really start to transform your subconscious because in your conscious, you might be saying, I love myself, I'm great, I'm blah, 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 blah. but your subconscious is feeling very defeated, victim, depleted, anxious, and not very just happy <laughs> with yourself, okay? So let's get to that subconscious. So you're gonna do that in your alpha state before you open your eyes, before you get out of bed, you're gonna stay in that bed, you're gonna milk that time, okay? With some beautiful supportive thoughts. The second time of day that you're gonna milk is when you're in the shower, okay? So I do this, I blast, I have a playlist, which you're gonna get below when you click that link. I have a playlist that I call New Happy Me, and I have some really fun, uplifting songs that I just sing aloud in the shower. And as I'm singing these songs, and you'll see what the songs are, the lyrics, they're very, they're almost like affirmations as well. So when you're doing this on repeat every morning, it, it's like it's like singing these these um, beautiful affirming thoughts and melodies and it can have very very positive effects because affirmations do and then the repetition that also does so so even before the song even the lyrics even kick in on the song after doing this for a while you know you hear it and you're like ah like it just changes your mood you know because you've set that tone by playing these songs every single day. So use your time in the shower, play some uplifting music, blast it loud if you can, um, and that's your time to milk, milk it, milk it, milk it, okay? Uh, the third time, that you can milk and practice some self-care is on your commute in the car as you're driving. I live in Los Angeles. People spend sometimes 45 minutes to an hour going in one direction and then another 45 minutes to an hour and sometimes longer coming back home. That's at least two hours of your day that you could be spending like brainwashing yourself with positivity, affirmations, mentorship, amazing audiobooks, 
all of these speaking out loud you're in your car you could be doing exercises you could be screaming you know how they have like the screaming into a pillow you could be screaming in your car you could be speaking um letting things out to the person or the people that you really feel you need to get a lot out to you can be doing that in your car okay so i want you to really be mindful of the time that you have and use it wisely you can listen to amazing audiobooks in the car by amazing mentors. I mean, there's so many great books out there. You have access to all of their teachings. Listen to them. Get your mind right, okay? Get your mind right and start really starting to uh, shape a new default thinking because our default thinking now is negative. It just is. It's just the world. It's humanity. It's life. The world is tough. We're a fearful anxious bunch okay so let's start to really switch that up let's get a new default going okay so on your commute is the third the third time of the day that you're gonna milk uh, the other time of the day that you're gonna milk is on your lunch break and just really listen I know your lunch break you know you might want to hang out with a friend or like you know your friends at work or be on your phone you know checking some emails but take 10 minutes of your lunch break just 10 minutes and even put your little timer on your phone to do some journaling do some journaling on your lunch break and what I want you to write down in your journal is everything that you want like focus on what you want and write it down like for me you know my big goal is to move to Paris and to live in Paris and to go back to university and get my degree my bachelor's finish my bachelor's in biology and to um, buy a house and live in the mountains and to have a thriving online business so I write these things down you know and I talk about it on paper and I want you to do that too you know even you know, you may say to yourself like, oh, I can't do that or that's stupid or again, those are all, that's in your subconscious. That's what we're trying to switch, right? So that's number one. And then number two is there's no one for this journal and paper except for you. There's no one there judging it. So there's no one there judging your big lofty dreams or the ones that you think could never happen except for you. You're the only one judging. So let's get out of that. Like write down whatever you want. You can be and do anything. And you may not know that yet and that's okay. Don't know it yet if you don't know it yet. Don't force yourself to like know that you can do all of this, but just start writing it down. Just start there because the practices that I am sharing with you are gonna help you to know it. You're gonna begin to know it because again, we have to transform that default thinking. We have to get down into our subconscious and we have to have this repetition of thinking about what we want, thinking about thoughts that support us, thinking loving thoughts, thinking kind thoughts, thinking less critical thoughts. We have to do this all of the time to really start changing how we think. And that's when things change. And that's when you start to believe um, what was unbelievable, you know, six months ago. Okay. So do some journaling at lunchtime. And then the other, uh, and the last time of the day that I really want you to milk is in the evening when you're winding down, you're watching your show, is it Bridgerton or a masterpiece mystery? Like, you know, one of my shows, um, I want you to like massage your feet while you're sitting on the couch or you're sitting on the bed, have a little lavender essential oil or one of your favorites and just massage your feet, massage your shoulders, do a scalp massage, massage your hands and tell your hands, thank you for doing all that great work today. Thank you feet for carrying me. You can say this to yourself. When the commercials come on, you can really take a second and like speak to your feet and speak to your hands and speak to your shoulders. Thank you for carrying the weight of all of this shoulders and massage and touch your body and love on yourself okay these practices work I know they work because I've done them and I've transformed so much of my life from these kind of um, very unique out of the box some of them are not especially when it comes to affirmations Louise Hay I love her because of her teachings of affirmations but you got this you just want to make sure to be as consistent as you can 
don't give up on yourself stick with it and you know see what happens from there okay so I can't wait to hear from you click below and get those freebies and I'll see you soon